Sorrow after sorrow for over two years. No other girl should ever suffer this much. If it had been somebody else, they would have dumped me in some orphanage. But my parents did not forsake me even when I was in such a horrible state. That was the only reason that prevented me from ending my life. I was totally bedridden. I had to eat, drink and do many more things in the bed. I used to tell my mom, please put some poison in the food and give me. Let me eat that and die. My mom used to tell me that I was the very reason of their existence and if I die, then what is the point of them living? I used to ask my dad that when I will become normal and will I be ever able to live a normal life like others? Will I have this affliction throughout my life till my death? My dad always used to reassure me. He always will request me to be patient. So just for my parents sake, I used to bear with my agony. Sometimes in extreme pain, I even used to shout at them. I used to score my mother very badly, but even under that circumstance, they cared for me. That was the reason for my existence. Due to the spread of rashes all over my body, I was not even able to wear dresses, not able to lie down. If I try to get up and lift my hand, blood will gush down. I was not even able to place my hands down. Blood will pour out even from my ear holes. Boils would come up in the nook and corner of my body. I was not able to eat food, so I would try to take some liquids, but I had boils even my mouth and tongue. I was not in a position to even take liquids. I felt wretched and totally helpless. I questioned the very purpose of my birth and I thought that I am an extremely unlucky girl. If they take me to doctors, even they would not touch me. They would prod me with a stick. They even did not assure me that I will be cured of this sickness. They used to think for a long time and only afterwards they will prescribe something. I would not be able to sit for a long time. Now you see me sitting comfortably. The sole reason for that is the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason that I am able to dress like this is our dear Lord. Earlier, I was not in a position to even dress sparsely. Sometimes, I will wear some dresses out of sheer desperation. But later, my mom and dad used to suffer a lot to remove that. The dress would get stuck to my skin and the skin would peel off if they tried to remove the dress. Sometimes, they used to cut the dresses off. At this juncture, somebody told us they will take us to Love of Jesus Ministry. We heard this promising news on a Saturday. The next day, my parents scooped me up and took me to Shalom Assembly Church. Entering there, I was struck with fear. I have never seen such a crowd before. I felt embarrassed to sit in a crowd that big. I feared that nobody would bear my presence. Nobody would sit near me because of that stench. I told my parents to take me away. At that time, Uncle Jawahar Samuel was preaching. He told that in a few minutes, we would be receiving the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. We would be getting bread and wine. I felt some inexplicable solace coming into me on hearing these words. I leaned over my dad and started listening to Uncle Samuel preaching. After the service was over, my mom and dad went over to Uncle Samuel and shared a plight with him. I was not in a position to stand up and walk over. I was seated in a chair. Uncle came over to the place where I was sitting. I cringed when Uncle Samuel placed his hands on me and started praying. My body was in such a rotten state that no doctor would touch me. It used to stink. It used to stink very badly. Foul-smelling blood and pus was oozing all over my body. I was not able to bear the condition of my body myself. I used to shy away from my very body for nearly two years. I never saw the mirror during that time frame. But Uncle Samuel did not hesitate even for a second. He never thought he might catch the disease from me. He just praised the Lord, poured some oil into his palm and rubbed it in my body from head to foot. Nobody has ever touched me like that. I felt hope surging through my body. I felt that since this man has touched me with a true and broken heart, I will get healing for sure. I went home with that hope and joy in my heart. I received healing within three days after this. I have taken countless medications. I have gone to many doctors to no avail. But when Uncle Samuel touched me and applied oil over my body and prayed for me, I got the healing within three days. It was a miraculous redemption. The boils started to disappear. All the rough skin vanished. I got the skin of a newborn. I never 
never saw the mirror for the two years that I was sick. Only after I received the healing, I saw my image in the mirror. I was very happy about that. I fell down on the bed and rolled right and left and praised God. I have never felt this happiness and peace. I am going to pursue my studies and do the ministry of the Lord. That is the sole purpose of my life now. I will never forget our Lord Jesus Christ, love of Jesus ministry and Uncle Jawahar Samuel for the rest of my life.